Welcome to the wonderful world of floating solar. If you're new to this technology, don't worry, you're not alone. Floating solar may sound like something out of a sci-fi novel, but it's actually a real and increasingly popular way to generate clean energy. And no, it does involve levitating solar panels with the power of your mind. Although that would be pretty cool. Before continuing this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for future updates. So what is floating solar, you ask? Well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. Solar panels that float on water. Think of it like a giant pool party. Except, instead of lounging on inflatable rafts, the solar panels are busy converting sunlight into electricity. But don't worry, there won't be any cannonballs or Marco Polo games disrupting the panel's efficiency. They're designed to handle waves and currents like a pro. Now, you may be wondering why anyone would want to put solar panels on water instead of good old-fashioned land. Well, there are actually a few reasons. For one thing, floating solar systems can generate more energy than their land-based counterparts. This is partly due to the cooling effect of the water, which can help the solar panels operate more efficiently. Plus, floating solar can be a great way to use bodies of water that aren't suitable for other activities. After all, no one wants to swim in a pond full of algae, but it's a perfect spot for some floating solar panels to shine. Now, let's talk about the nuts and bolts of floating solar. No, not actual nuts and bolts. That would be a terrible idea on a water-based system. Instead, we'll be covering the materials, design, and construction methods used to make these systems a reality. One of the key components of any floating solar system is, of course, the floats themselves. These are the structures that keep the solar panels afloat on the water. And no, they're not just a bunch of pool noodles tied together with string. Although, that would be a sight to see. Floats can be made from a variety of materials, including high-density polyethylene, HDPE, plastic, concrete, and even recycled materials like old plastic bottles. The choice of material depends on factors like cost, durability, and environmental impact. Another important consideration in floating solar design is anchoring. After all, you don't want your solar panels to drift off into the sunset like a lost sailboat. There are a variety of methods for anchoring floating solar systems, including mooring lines, piles, and even suction cups. Yes, really. Each method has its pros and cons, and the choice of anchoring system will depend on factors like water depth, wave height, and the type of bottom sediment. So if you thought choosing a spot for your beach umbrella was tough, just wait until you see the considerations for anchoring a floating solar system. Once the floats and anchoring systems are in place, it's time to install the solar panels themselves. These panels are not your average backyard solar panels. They're specifically designed to withstand the challenges of water-based environments like UV radiation, high humidity, and the occasional passing fish. And don't worry, they're not so delicate that you'll have to worry about a rogue seagull breaking them with a single pack. In fact, floating solar systems can be incredibly durable and long-lasting, with some installations expected to last up to 25 years or more. Now let's talk about the benefits of floating solar. And trust us, there are plenty of reasons to love this technology. It's not just for mermaids and pirates anymore. For starters, Floating solar can be a great way to generate clean energy without taking up valuable land. After all, there's only so much space on terra firma, and we don't want to have to choose between solar panels and, say, playgrounds or public parks. By putting solar panels on water, we can use otherwise unused space to generate electricity. Plus, floating solar systems can help reduce the amount of water loss to evaporation in certain bodies of water which is especially important in areas with droughts or limited water resources. But that's not all. Floating solar can also be a great way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. By generating clean energy, we can reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and their associated emissions. And because floating solar systems can be installed in a variety of water bodies, like reservoirs, ponds, and even the ocean, they can be used in a wide range of locations around the world. So whether you're living in a desert or a rainforest, floating solar could be a viable option for powering your home or business. And let's not forget the aesthetic benefits of floating solar. 
There's something undeniably cool about seeing a bunch of solar panels floating on water like a futuristic flotilla. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. But it's happening right here, right now. So if you want to impress your friends and family with your cutting edge taste in renewable energy, floating solar is definitely the way to go. So what are the challenges of floating solar? Because let's face it, nothing worth doing is ever completely easy, right? But fear not, intrepid reader, for we'll also be discussing strategies for overcoming these challenges and making floating solar work for you. One of the biggest challenges of floating solar is maintenance. After all, solar panels are designed to sit on rooftops or the ground, not bobbing around on the water. This means that maintenance crews may need to use boats or other watercraft to access the panels, which can be time-consuming and costly. Plus, there's always the risk of equipment falling into the water or getting damaged in rough waves. But fear not, for innovative solutions are already in the works, like using drones for inspection and maintenance or designing panels that can be easily removed and replaced. Another challenge of floating solar is the potential impact on wildlife and aquatic ecosystems. After all, solar panels and their associated infrastructure can take up space that would otherwise be used by fish, birds, and other aquatic creatures. But fear not, for there are ways to minimize this impact, like designing floating solar systems with fish habitats built in, or working with local conservation groups to identify and protect important wildlife areas. Finally, we should also mention the challenge of financing floater solar systems. Like any new technology, floating solar can be expensive to design, build, and maintain. And because it's still a relatively new concept, it may be harder to find financing or insurance options compared to more established solar technologies. But fear not, for there are already success stories of floating solar installations around the world, from California to India to the Netherlands. And as the technology continues to evolve and become more popular, we can expect to see more and more financing options become available. Let's talk about the final chapter of our discussion on floating solar. We'll be looking to the future and exploring where floating solar might be headed in the coming years. One exciting possibility for floating solar is its potential for use in offshore applications. Imagine floating solar panels out in the open ocean, powering oil rigs or even entire cities. It might sound like something out of a James Bond movie, but it's actually a real possibility. Researchers are already working on developing floating solar systems that can withstand the harsh conditions of the open ocean. And we can expect to see more and more projects in this area in the coming years. Another potential use for floating solar is in disaster relief efforts. After all, when natural disasters strike, power grids and other infrastructure can be damaged or destroyed. But by deploying floating solar systems, we can quickly and easily provide clean energy to affected communities helping them get back on their feet more quickly. In conclusion, floating solar is a technology with a lot of potential. It offers a way to generate clean energy without taking up valuable land, and it can be used in a variety of settings and applications. Of course, there are also challenges to be addressed, from maintenance to financing to environmental impact. But with innovation and collaboration, we can overcome these challenges and continue to develop this exciting technology. Thank you for joining us for this discussion on floating solar. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more content on renewable energy and sustainability. And as always, let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below.